Novak Djokovic versus Hubert Hercatch is the final group stage match for the ATP Finals for 2023. And both guys are coming in under very different circumstances. Hercatch comes into the ATP Finals as an alternate after Sidzi Pass pulled out and after finishing number nine in the world, just missing out on qualifying in the final weeks of the season. His best result here was a round robin appearance two years ago, but was unable to win a match in that attempt. This year, he's got 45 wins and 21 losses. But the more impressive stat is that he's won all the finals he's played in, three wins out of the three finals, including a win at the Shanghai Masters to get his second 1,000 title. His best win was against Stefano Tsitsipas in Cincinnati just before the US Open, and his worst loss actually coming at the US Open against Jack Draper in a bit of an upset in straight sets. His form, however, has been great, having won that Shanghai Masters and also making the final of Basel. He's only lost a handful of matches since that US Open loss. Novak Djokovic comes into the ATP Finals as the number one in the world and only needs one win to wrap up the year-end number one ranking for another time. His ATP Finals record, his best results here have been winning the title on multiple occasions in 2008, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, and we're coming in as the defending champion from last year's event, winning it back in 2022. His record, 51 wins, five losses, of course, not playing that much due to not being allowed to play in America and also taking some time off after the US Open. And his record has been six titles in one final, with the only loss that he's had in a final being at Wimbledon to Alcaraz. His best win was beating Alcaraz in Cincinnati and, of course, beating Alcaraz at the French Open. And his worst loss was against Lajevic, who was 70 in the world at the time in Bosnia during the clay court swing. But he's got the best form of anybody coming in with no losses in his last 10 matches. In fact, his last loss came at Wimbledon back in July. These guys have played six times before with Djokovic leading the head-to-head 6-0. But the last time they played at Wimbledon, Hercatch did push Djokovic very close. The way Hercatch has been playing lately as well could be real danger for Djokovic if he's not back on point. If Hercatch is going to win this one, he's going to have to use that big serve and also use his freshness because he's coming in here with no matches. He is the only guy playing this tournament at this stage with no matches. So he'll be really fresh. Djokovic has played two three-hour matches, so he's going to have to try and use that to his advantage as well. If Djokovic is going to win this one, he needs to get up to a good start. He can't go down a set here and play another three-set epic because when he gets to the semifinals against guys like Medvedev, if that's the case, it's going to be really, really tough to keep playing these three-hour epics all the way through the tournament. So he's going to have to get off to a good start. Such an interesting match. This was supposed to be Pass versus Djokovic. I got to think this is much better than what that could have been. I'm going to go with Djokovic to win this one in straights. I think a close straight set, maybe a couple of tie breaks. Herkatch coming with no matches might hurt him in the end. But I think Djokovic is going to get this one and qualify to get to the semis. But let me know in the comments below who's going to win this match.